because it's elderberry season and soon to be grape season, um, there's a lot of recipes for jams, jellies, and whatnot that tell you to pick the grapes and the or the elderberries, and you gotta mash them up, and then you gotta strain them through cheesecloth, and it's so time consuming and very messy. If anyone's ever done it, you know what I mean. And that's the way we used to do it when I was a kid. But a couple years ago, I happened to be over to a friend's house when she was doing her grapes, and I saw that she had this contraption, all these pans, and I, it, my mind was just blown. I guess I was behind the times. I just didn't know that these existed, and it's the best thing I ever invested in. So for those that don't know, I want to show you how easy this is to extract your juice from either, right now I'm doing elderberries, and next month I'll be doing my grapes. So in the bottom pan, you put your water. And in the top, you put your elderberries. This middle pan has the spout where the, the steam will come up from the bottom. It'll fill up with juice. And it will start to come out in this tube, which is closed right now. And I have a pan here that I keep like this. It's on a step stool so that when the juice is ready, I just open this up and the juice will come out. And I can show you that later when the juice is ready to run. But right now, as you see, this holds quite a bit of elderberries. So you just put it in like that cover on, turn the oven stove on, and when I see the juice start coming out here, I'll open up the spout and it'll go right into my pan. When it's all done, all you need to do is compost your berries because all the juice will be gone and all the, you know, it'll all be in the pan and you'll be ready to make your jams, jellies, or just can it, make your cough syrup pancake syrup, whatever you want to do with it. And it only takes, well, it'll take a couple hours from start to finish, maybe less. It all depends on, you know, how it goes, how hot I got the stove, how fast it will flow. But when it comes to doing your grapes next month, it's the same thing. Just take the stems off your grapes, put all your, fill it right up with your grapes, and do the same thing. And just fill up your quart jars um, can it and you're good to go. Um, what I'm going to do is when I put it, when the juice goes in my pan, I'm just going to boil it for a while, then I'm going to let it set, probably till tomorrow actually, to let the sediment set. And then I'll can it. So that's all I wanted to show you in case you've never done it before, but this is the best investment you could make for your, so you don't have to waste time and waste your grapes and elderberries on the mashing and straining through your cheesecloth. So hope you enjoyed. Thanks.